What can a whale teach us about business? Kia ora everyone. In about half an hour I'm going to give a business talk at the Nelson Tasman Business Trust on how we can be staying flexible in times of change and uncertainty. And yes, I will be talking about some basic um, principles in business and I'm not talking about these right now. To you, I would like to say it doesn't really matter whether we talk in this regard about business or our personal lives. So how can we cha um, stay in tune? How can we adjust and how can we stay flexible? And what does the whale have to do with it? Well, for me, the whale represents many things. First of all, it's one of the oldest creatures on this, or beings, on this planet. And it has adjusted and survived so many different times um, and um, circumstances. His lifestyle had to be adjusted because humanity has <laughs> managed to, to do a lot to the seas. The whale also is teaching me personally to stay calm and to, when I am in, in a, a state of changes, focus inward. Everything always starts from within. And it doesn't matter what it looks like on the outside. We basically, or uh, the, the outside to me is my mirror. Changes are happening all the time. It's inevitable. How we respond to that, or should I rather say, whether we react to that, and that means um, just unconscious behavior, or whether we respond to a situation, and that meaning is meaning consciously responding to the circumstances, the challenges, the opportunities that are lying ahead of us. Another point is really one of your beliefs. If you are holding the belief, for example, that change is bad, you will have a much harder time, um, especially in these days. Um, if you hold the belief that change is inevitable, and it's also something that can be embraced because with change come new opportunities, rather than seeing things as challenges, seeing them as opportunities. Even looking back at the last couple of years that we all had to face massive changes, massive challenges, but also massive opportunities. And some businesses and also some people have managed to turn these challenges into um, beneficial opportunities for themselves. And on a personal level, most of us had some more time to really think about whether we want to continue the way we are living, whether we actually need all the stuff that we think we have to buy, whether it's important to constantly travel, whether it um, is important to us or whether it's possible for us to even work from home. All these things have managed to make us reevaluate our lives and that's usually what changes are constantly doing, whether they happen on a big scale, like in the last couple of years for all of us, whether they happen on a small scale, changes are part of our lives. And the sooner we see them as something positive, and the sooner we see them also as something for us to grow internally and then see the growth in our outside world, the better. I hope you have a marvelous week ahead. We have today the winter or summer solstice, depending on where you are right now. So I'm wishing you uh, a wonderful second part of the year. And maybe think about how you think about changes. Bye for now.